one glass in You're already on my mind When it gets late I always realize that I need you Are you there? Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is an exciting day. We're taking Kato out for another event today. We're just heading to Tweezledown, which is lovely because it is so local. So we've got him plattered up. We've loaded up the car and trailer and we're going to get him loaded and head on our way. Your hands around my waist, just let the music play. Like a drug, I am hooked on you. Sweeter than summer wine. Baby, just hold me tight Like a drug I am hooked on you And that makes me say Oh man, you make you feel like paradise God damn think Hey guys, we're here at Tweedledown the day before competing as it's so close to walk the cross country course We are doing the BE100 today so hopefully it'll be a really nice course a fun day out and it's always lovely because it's so local hey guys a quick break from tweezle down to thank the wonderful sponsor of this video hello fresh we've been using hello fresh a very long time today we are cooking the peri peri chicken burger and spiced wedges which looks absolutely delicious we've got all the ingredients here so let's get cooking all the meals come with an easy to follow recipe guide and as you guys know we are so busy so HelloFresh is perfect because they deliver fresh food straight to your door. So I have just marinated the chicken in the peri peri seasoning and garlic which I'm going to set aside and get on with my tomatoes. HelloFresh has so many different recipes to choose from, so they definitely have something for everyone. They split them up into different categories, such as rapid meals, family friendly meals, classic meals, street food, so it makes it easier to choose. We personally love the rapid meals because we are so busy, um, so we can cook delicious food quickly. We got someone down here that really likes what you're cooking, Ash. She definitely wants some of the chicken. <laughs> So the great thing about HelloFresh is it's really flexible. You can cancel your subscription at any time. You can skip meals if you've got other plans and you can also add recipes and portions if you've got people coming around for dinner. So our peri peri chicken burgers are ready, which I think you guys will agree they look absolutely delicious. As well as all of the recipes being delicious, they are also really good value for money, which is perfect in times like these. They start from just £3.15 per portion, and that's before the discount code. So my discount code is AshleyH2023, which gets you 60% off your first box, plus 25% off the next two months plus free gifts. Number one, so just a nice pheasant feeder to start. Quite close to the start box, you've really got to come out and mean it, but a nice first fence to start. Nice big table with a big ground line brightly colored so they often can have a little look at this especially as it's at the beginning of the course but hopefully it should ride well and we're going up a big hill a big steep hill and i think there's a corner at the top of this it's just a corner on its own so it's not too difficult because there's not accommodation but you just come up that hill they're going to be a little bit tired next up is the waters you've had to just run down that steep hill so you've got to make sure you sit them back and then you've got this quite upright log and then just a splash through the water and out this is quite tough after running down that hill you've just got to make sure you sit them back up because they'll be on their forehand and then they'll get to here then the, there's quite a lot going on so they might be a little bit like that and the log's quite upright. that's quite sizable as well yes. isn't it number seven a nice straightforward gallopy fence just a table a little bit colorful but you can just keep coming at it that's sort of skinny under a tree to a skinny but it is running downhill slightly and the first element is within the trees okay next up is the water so it's a run in to the water and then out over those rails at B which are quite close fence 12 just a nice brush 14 at these rails quite a nice fence 
that you can keep coming to however as she just hit it it's fine but they are on frangible pins mim clips i don't quite know the, quite the difference but you can see the red those tip, red things down which there. means if you hit them hard enough they actually will fall down so the whole point is it's a safety feature to stop bad accidents and if you do knock them down you get penalties so you don't want to be charging at them you do have to respect mim clips and the sorts of rail like more square profile fences respect the clip okay that's number 15 skinny 15 to 16 sort of a combination but they are numbered separately so you could circle so you've got this sort of skinny but it's not really really skinny and then you basically go over a mound to that log pile that's slightly on an, an angle. angle yeah see the terrain is changing so whenever terrain changes it does make it more complicated than if this was just flat it'd be fairly straightforward last fence a nice roll top with a brush jump that lovely to finish okay so we've just finished walking the cross country course just walking back to the car now it's a really nice course overall a couple of few questions i think definitely the hardest bit is after four running up a really steep hill to a corner on top and then running straight down to the water complex which is quite hard uh, but overall really nice course really excited to give it a go with kato yeah and let's go with the dressage. Ooh. I was really pleased with that. Um, didn't think it was his best test actually, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but he did do everything I asked when I asked. He warmed up well. The ground's actually really nice today. So compared to Nunny, he was slipping a little bit. Um, the ground's much better. So yeah, I was really, really pleased. Score wise, I mean, it's hard because I don't know what other people have got. So I'm gonna go, what do we reckon, Kato? 
Well, I hope it's in the 20s, but I'm not sure it will be. I'm going to say 31. What do you think? I'm going to say 28.7. Well, okay. Well, I'm either think 31 or 29. <laughs> Get two, two options. Good boy. Got any Kevin Bacons on? Yo, Kevin Bacons. That on the old fingers. And what does this do again? Make it look nice. Okay. No, they actually, this is actually good stuff, this one. Prevents thrush, protects against the wet, restores and maintains a healthy hoof when used daily. Okay, nice. As well, so I'll probably do it up. Do you want to do that again? No, it's all right. Sarah knows the score and Ash knows the score, but we don't know the score. Okay, so what's so the dress we're going to recap. Oh, we don't like Jesus. those rose clothes signs. <laughs> Lord, Kater. So, I said, I said 31. Sarah then said 28. 28? 29. 29. Be optimistic. I then sort of went 29, but I really thought 31. 31.3. Okay. 31.3. Not too bad. Top score is only 30. Okay. So I'm second. Well done. They're pretty pleased with that because you have to remember whenever you get a score, you have to compare it to look at what other people are getting because some judges judge really low yeah. uh, and some a bit higher. So then none, if no one gets in the 20s, then a, a 30 31 is really, really good. Yeah, that means the judge woke up on the wrong side of the yeah. bed and didn't have their Cheerios. Possibly. Yeah. But I'm very pleased. Well done, Kato. Now, now to jump for the show jumping. So Let's do it. this is definitely our most difficult phase. Okay guys, we're just walking down to the show jumping. So very, very pleased with our dressage score. Um, he was really good boy compared to everyone else, really good. He's sitting in second at the minute. So we're now heading down to the show jumping, which definitely is our weakest phase. Um, but we've been working hard on it. So hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, we can try and leave all of the jumps up. We went show jumping last week to some BS and we did one round and we literally just had the last fence down. So I'm hoping I can just maintain that and we can do a really nice round. So let's get on. So I'm just going to keep walking him round, then I'll have to redo a few jumps when they restart. Nice. All right. Just keep him warm. Yeah. Keep him focused. He's feeling good though. Is he? Yeah. He's looking good. Yeah, he's feeling very good. Ash? Ash, quick update. You've now gotten off because it's taking some I time. I got off because it's just taking a while and then they've said they're putting the multiples fair enough for four. Yeah. Um, and I've only got one horse here today, so I'll have at least six from when they restart. So I thought I'm just going to jump off, let him chill out a minute and then yeah. I'll get back on. Warm up. Yeah, so we we were in the game and now we were a bit more relaxed, but now we're going to get back in yeah, the game. Yeah, get back in it when go. we're when we're ready. Yeah, nice.
just a beautiful, beautiful round. He just didn't change one me, down. and I just had classic. one down. It was classic Ash. Just I just classic, think I then it? came around the corner, and it was going so well. I maybe just overchecked a little bit. Such a shame because he literally, that was one of the smoothest rounds I think he's ever jumped. He just didn't break rhythm, did he? He wasn't really spooking. It was brilliant, brilliant. And that's just such a shame. He didn't touch anything else. No, it was a good round. It was just, yeah, it's, it was, you were jumping well. It's just, yeah, it's just one down, isn't it? Good boy. Sarah, thoughts? It's an annoying fence. I know, I literally, I was jumping so well. It's like he hesitated going in yeah. and came around the corner. I think I came around the corner and then I was either on a really long one or then a short. It's like he backed off. Yeah. Oh, so annoying because he jumped the rest. He's doing really well. Got really got well. He was like, it was smooth, it was lovely. Yeah. You're kind of coming downhill a bit there though, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm really pleased with him. Like, it's every round I'm doing on him, he's getting better and better. Rhythmical. He's consistent. Yeah, exactly. He stayed in a rhythm. Yes, he had one down, he just touched it, but it was much more rhythmical, so I'm happy with that. And we did have to wait a long time. Good boy. Right, onto the cross country. Yeah. was the table, left table was there. 18 was the spooky one, and then 19, just the table. Ready? Yeah. Try and give you a leg up. Let Sarah hold that camera. Sarah's actually doing everything. One, two, three. Right, head in the game, Ash. Yeah. Is your head in the game? Head is in the game now. I'm all right for a minute. Just, uh, just a little bit frustrated there because I think that was probably me. I could have done. Right, we'll make it up in the cross country. Yeah. What you do? Okay. Here we go. Well done. Smashed it. Smashed it. He was clear. Epic. No time. No time. I was almost too fast. Yeah, nice. I was having to slow. Like, Scott, when you saw me at the corner, yeah, I was supposed to have got my first minute marker before I even came up the hill. I didn't get it. It didn't beep until I was halfway down. Yeah. Happy yeah, I was, with that? I'm absolutely thrilled. He literally, at that level, he just cruises round. He is an absolute schoolmaster. At that height, as long as you point him, he is jumping. He is just, he felt amazing he felt like then he's like a zebedee cross country he is just cruises round he gets the time like the time that was easy for him i literally that whole last straight i was like slow looking at my watch i was then counting my head because i was like i can't if i get time i'm going too fast now yeah uh, yeah it was absolutely amazing well really done. really pleased with him okay guys just walking back from cross country kato was absolutely epic he's been so good today especially because we did have to get held you know we were completely warmed up for show jumping and we must have been held for an hour 
must have been um and so he you know he literally tapped one in the show jumping that i think there weren't that many clear so i was really pleased with him because it was one of his best rounds ever and then he literally just cruised around the cross country inside the time and the worst we can be is fourth so really really pleased with him so we're going to take him back wash him down get him sorted um and then we'll see when they finish the class because Otherwise, we're just taken back and I can come back later. Um, but yeah, so proud of him. He has just been absolutely amazing. Well done, buddy. You're a good boy. Oh, he's a legend. He's all right. He was such a good boy. Get all the treats now. Washing the old boy off. Yeah. Washing the old boy off, I'm just putting everything away. Take his studs off and put his ice cubes on now that he's been washed off. Look, I haven't got the ice the ice cubes, uh, the ice blocks in there yet, Sarah. And I've got to organise it, but... You're talking to me or Sarah? Both. Maybe Set wait the for the wait for the big plane to go. Top tip. This was Sarah and I actually both came up with the idea within about so I'd thought about it literally about the day before and then Sarah texted me. This, so we get Hello Fresh. Yeah, oh I don't think people know about that. No. But the meats, because they so they can be left on your doorstep, come in um this mesh. What, what do you call this? Insulation um with ice blocks and it keeps it cold cold all day. So Sarah and I thought for my ice poop boots put this mesh inside my cool bag normally with some ice blocks i've even forgotten the ice blocks and this is like it's a freezer in here <laughs> they they have not even budged, budged. yeah amazing so hello fresh if you're listening yeah. it's multi-purpose yeah huh? top tip yeah there saving the environment as well yeah they call you greta do they? yeah <laughs> i get these on the old boy now came third nice well oh done. good boy third place oh such a good boy i am so pleased with him third place yeah see you later scott yeah we just found out i came third see you later scott came third really proud of him good boy um even with that pole down even the, the pole down would have only made a second so i'm super pleased i always say save the pole for another another day when you need it more um yeah so so proud of him third place 31.3 dressage we were second after dressage one down but everyone was having issues and that is our weaker phase and then he just stormed the cross country inside the time with ease to finish third so can't ask any more from Kato. just getting his ice boots on and then he can relax this afternoon so very proud of him